it's Amy Williams here for the You Perform YouTube channel along with Aaron, the You Perform fitness expert. Now together we spoke last week about common myths about training and this week we're going to talk about running and the benefits of running. Why is it so good to run Aaron? I think we all know the amazing benefits of running but at a time like we're in at the moment where um, you know we've just come out of a heavy lockdown into a bit of relaxation and now we're moving into a bit more restrictions again. Um, a lot of people found running during lockdown. Um, it was accessible, you know they just had to leave their house and get out and the government was saying go out take your hours exercise the important bit was they were actually saying go exercise not just go for a walk and what was the thing that people could do it was it was run it was accessible they didn't need any special equipment um, apart from probably a decent pair of trainers which yeah. i think most people <laughs> need to upgrade anyway from what i've seen and so um yeah with um people being more aware of their health and knowing that they've got to look after themselves a bit more with a pandemic that's sweeping the world um, we know that the healthier you are the less weight you're carrying and the better your cardiovascular fitness is, the less uh, chance you are getting um, the, the illness. And then if you do get it, the more likely you are to be able to, to move past it. Mm. And the important thing is it's, that's the case for so many other illnesses and diseases out there. It's just taken a pandemic to almost scare people into having to get fit and understanding that more. And I think the, one of the main ways that people did that was, was through running through the lockdown. And so it's been great to see hundreds of people out in parks, um, running down roads, running down streets. I found it amazing to see um, parents going out with their children. I thought that was really great to see adults being role models for their kids and helping them through um, quite a tough time for everyone. When they've got lack of sport at school because they're not running around with their friends and things, they need to be just as active as the parents. So turning that into a whole family thing was really great. And how would you advise people the people who come along saying, I know I need to run, but I absolutely hate it and it's so boring and dull and my everything you know hurts and aches, but I really should. How would you encourage those people to put the trainers on and get outside? I think it's one of those things, once you get started and you start gently and you build it up in the right way, you start to feel the benefits, the aches and pains might start to ease a little bit, you feel a bit more energised and then you can build and build and build gradually. Um, I think a lot of people throw themselves at it too quickly and they don't really know what they're doing. And if you are carrying too much um, extra weight or if you've had some injuries and things, you're just gonna be putting pressure on those joints. So you've gotta start gently and strengthen the body bit by bit. So there's actually a program uh, created by Professor Greg White, which is the U2 Running program. And it basically takes you from doing nothing to 5K over eight weeks. And it builds up gradually starting with a bit of walking, a bit of running, and allows you just to step it up in a safe manner. Sounds good, and it sounds something for everyone. And I guess you, we just touched upon the mental side of then running and how good it is to get outside. And we all know endorphins are flowing through your body, etc. You're a little bit more um, knowledgeable about that kind of mental health side. Give us another few reasons. I think when a lot of people we're in heavy lockdown, but even so, now we're not in so much of a deep lockdown. People are still spending time in confined spaces in the four walls of their house, um, often working in the same environment that they eat in, in the same environment they try and watch telly and relax in, and it can become quite claustrophobic. Um, so just getting outside and going for a run is gonna change um, your mental health in a massive amount of ways. Um, breathing, some fresh air, hopefully being outside. Um, the eyes get to focus on different things in the distance. So that's really great for um, kind of helping with concentration and things. If you've been looking at a computer screen this close all day, getting out and changing your focus. Um, you know, having that time where hopefully you're out there without your mobile phone, are not contactable. You can just go out there and be with your own thoughts and clear some stuff. I mean, I always find that running, I don't particularly love running. I, I enjoy it, but I know the benefits of it. But I find I get through so much stuff in my head when I'm out there running and I can just clear it all out, go through my thoughts, and no one's there to distract me, which is a really, really important part of that. Yeah, I can kind of hear you on that. I mean, I, I've never ran long distances in my life, um, 
But for me and as a mum, it's you're not pushing a buggy, you're not holding a child's hand or grabbing them or, or juggling, you know, one, two, three babies or whatever it might be. And to run with you, just you, no phone. I, I sometimes have no phone, no earphones, no music, no children, no buggy, no bags. And it's the freedom, just yeah. that freedom of whether it is 15, 20 minutes. And you're right, you come back and you're like, oh, I just feel light because you sort of haven't physically and mentally got that burden on you. So yeah, it's definitely got its benefits. I think you said something important there, but you said 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't have to be a massive long run. You don't have to think I've got to go out there for an hour. It just is 15 to 20 minutes mm. outside, being alone with your thoughts, giving yourself some space. You know, if you're in a busy household, kids, work, everything else going on, you've got to give yourself a break. And most of the time when we go out, what do we do? We take our phones with us and we're feeling around on the phone, looking at stuff and we're not on our own then, are we? We're connected to everything else that's going on. So we've got to have that distance from all those things um, to get the mental health benefits. And then being around outside in nature, you know, um, it's not possible for everyone. I know if you live in a big city, but trying to find some green space, running between some trees. We all know that being in nature is very calming for us. Um, you know, good quality of air is going to make a big difference as well. And then running outside is quite good for the body anyway, in that it challenges you proprioceptively. You know, if you're running along and the, you have to watch out for a puddle, You've got to jump and move that so your body has to constantly adapt to what's going on in front of you so it just stimulates the body in a different way um, to you know kind of just being sat inside at a desk and then again we're also undoing the effects of sitting postural problems from sitting at desks like this all day long um, one of my uh, good friends is a chiropractor and he said that in lockdown since then he's had um, lots of people coming to see him where they've been sat for long periods of time in ergonomically designed workspaces. So these new computer stations they've got at home. And uh, yeah, they've been causing lots of back pains, lots of shoulder pains. So just generally getting up and moving regularly is really important. We all know there's less risk involved exercising outdoors and indoors. And the fact that actually running is such a social activity, isn't it? Yeah, it can be. And, um, you know, we're starved of being social quite a lot at the moment. You know, we're not allowed to, uh, to see as many people as we normally would. Um, and you know we need to make sure that we still have that social connection and interaction with others so if we can do that safely um, in parks uh, going for a run rather than in pubs um, we're going to get benefit on our health right and we're still going to get that nice social interaction so um, it's going to be really beneficial for people to go out there in small groups keeping social distance and and yeah enjoying the great outdoors and um, yeah getting on their feet and running and I guess, you know, if people can't run because of health conditions and doctors, it's just getting outside and exercise and just make sure you're walking, you're moving and just getting that fresh air, oxygen in your lungs. Now, it's been great talking to Aaron today. Next week, we're going to be covering rest and recovery and self-care. Yep. All right. So if you want to see that, please set your reminder, ding that bell, um, press your subscribe button, and we will see you next week with Aaron.